Hi there, so I want to talk about a tool I've been using in my lessons quite a lot lately uh, which is really fantastic called Poplet and Poplet is a online tool where you can make your own uh, mind maps or sort of just use it to arrange ideas or record information here are some example ones just to show you the sort of things that you can do um, not really a fan of Lady Gaga myself but you can see there how that Poplet's been arranged and you can also use them in other ways it's quite a big project lots of poplets in here it goes some way actually this one to showing you some of the things that you can do such as including your images and hyperlinks so forth and so on so how do you go about making a poplet well from your launch pad here Make a new poplet and give it a name. I'm just going to call mine Example Poplet. Give it a colour, whatever you want it to be, and make it so. So to get yourself up and started, uh, just double click onto your stage and pop in a name. And once you're actually starting, Okay, you can make that poplar bigger or smaller, and then there's some options across the bottom here. First option enables you to change the colour of your popple. Each of these little work areas is called a popple. You can then play around with the text, you can make it smaller, bigger, left, centre, right aligned. You can also add drawings above and pop those in. And not only can you have the drawing that size, just expand that a bit more, uh, that colour sorry, you can change the colour of whatever you want it to be, and you can put more stuff on, so forth and so on. I don't really like that drawing there, so I'm just going to bring that back down. You can also include things straight onto the popple, such as an image from Flickr, add to popple or an image from your Facebook account you can link to a YouTube video instead and have that YouTube video actually embedded within your popple and that will just play from there or you can upload files from your computer now on your stage you can either have your popples standalone like this here or you can actually link your popples like you would on a mind map and you can link up your popples like so now I'm sure you can think of lots of ideas I've been using it as a mind mapping tool uh, getting students to um, put down what they've been working on in class as a revision tool uh, you can use it for lots of other reasons as well though um, for example you might lay out um, a presentation using uh, the Poplar app to record a presentation a bit like you would in Prezi where it moves from one node in your presentation to another you simply need to go onto your gears here and go to your view and presentation mode once in there if you click record and you just click on the order in which you want your presentation to be shown once you've done that just click present and you can use your left and right keys as it says to move between your popples like so and that is pretty much poplet you can come out of presentation mode by closing that there you can also export your poplet as a PDF or a JPEG and they come through reasonably high quality another thing you might want to do though for example is download the poplet viewer which enables you via labs and save file to save your poplet as a pop file like we have here which means you can then open your popple poplet sorry locally which can then be run on your local machine 
What also is really, really cool about Poplet is that it is now available as an iPad app. And it works in exactly the same way, only you use your finger rather than a mouse. And all the popples and poplets that you've made online are also available on your iPad. How cool is that? Poplet, well worth checking. The app for the iPad is £2.99. I would recommend getting it if you have an iPad. A really cool tool. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Mark Anderson, at ICT Evangelist, and that was Poplet.